so welcome back to the channel uh, first of all login with your credentials okay just do the things first of all and i will share i have shared the document link in description box my recommendation for you to open that link in normal window not in, not in incognito window okay so just once you log in with your credential just open the vm instance okay one virtual machine is already created for you just click on sshs okay and just wait for to to establish a connection okay so this is the documents which i what i am talking about so do one thing once you log in with you uh, once you open this doc you will get one doc okay so there you can't edit anything so just copy all the commands and open your personal notepad or you can use online notepad okay and there paste all this command because we need to make changes i will show you how to make that changes so that you can face any issue and second thing is uh, here are there are some commands like uh, for this command you can see there is a full stop in last okay so most of the guys uh, not pay attention and they just copy the command like this okay they just uh, forget about this full stop so they got uh, unnecessary error so please make sure of that every thing is in the given in the doc is important okay so once you log in with this all thing just let me increase the size okay so what we had to do just scroll down a little bit in lab instruction page and copy this container name okay and first of all remove here change the name here then here and like this okay now you can see here there is one extra space here so just remove that extra space and make sure it look like this now copy this thing paste over here and then go to your uh, lab instruction page and copy all this thing and that we have done with that now copy these three commands and paste now copy the docker pull command and paste this command will take few seconds so just wait for that So it's done now. Uh, and then copy the Docker run command. Copy this and paste over here. And it's done. Now you can check the score for task one. This this uh, command is optional. Okay. So yeah, if uh, if you just copy this and run over here, you will get the name of the your uh, container. Okay. So like this. Now for task two, copy this thing, and you can see that I already also include that full stop. Okay, so like this. Then copy this command and paste over here. Now it's done. Yeah, it's done now. Now check the score for task two. Yeah, we got a score. Now for task three, first of all, copy the this uh, defective product result dot JSON. Okay, like this, and paste here. Okay, and then copy this command and paste over here. So it's done. Now check the score for task three also. Okay. Uh, one more thing, guys. For task three and task four, uh, if you if you just see, I just click on check now progress and it give me the green tick on first attempt. It might be happen like uh, 
if you just click on check my progress it won't give the some kind of error or like that so just keep hit uh, hit for three to four times check my progress and you will get a score because it take time to update update the score okay now copy this comma this thing non defective product json file okay like this and paste over here now copy this thing make sure that you include the full stop also paste over here and then at last run this command okay now if you just go to your lab instruction page and click on check my progress so i got a school score for the last task also last task also i am again saying if you if you don't get a score on first first click just keep hitting on check my progress and you will get a score for uh, if you have any doubts you can ping me on comment section thanks for watching guys have a good day